Hello, my name is Miss Sieber. This is my virtual classroom and welcome to Superstar Parking. Before we begin, I would like everyone to take their right hand. Please place it inside your imaginary backpack and pull out your math thinking clap. Put it on your head, turn it on, kiss your brain, and we are ready to learn. Today, we are going to be learning about elapsed time. So as we know, elapsed time, when I'm teaching you about elapsed time, I ask myself, hmm, what is elapsed time? Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes from the start of an activity to the end. So for example, if you wake up in the morning and you brush your teeth, if you started brushing your teeth at eight in the morning and you ended at 8.05, it took you a total of how many minutes? Five minutes to brush your teeth. Here's how we are going to figure out elapsed time when reading word problems. This is my number line. This is the start of my time. This is my end time. When you're reading the problem, you will put in your start time and your end time here before filling in your number line. Now, here are three things I want you to remember. When we are looking for the elapsed time or how long the activity took, we are going to use mountains to show one hour that went by. We are going to use hills for five or 10 minutes and we will use rocks for one minute. Now that we know a little bit about elapsed time, we are going to look at a word problem and use the tricks that I taught you to figure out how much time passed by from the start to the end of the activity. Today, I have a very, very, very special surprise for you. When we're looking at my word problem, my first sentence says, raw fishing fed his fish. Hold on, hold on. I can't give you a word problem about raw fishing without having him here himself, so my brother and raw fishing, come on in. Hey. What's up, man? What's up? Hey, everyone. Do you know what elapsed time is? No, yeah, this is like my worst subject, so I'm ready to learn. Well, let's get ready to teach him. All right, let's get ready to teach raw fishing how to figure out elapsed time. So my question says, raw fishing fed his fish. He started feeding at what time? Oh, I think it was like 1.10 or something, p.m.? Okay, 1.10. Hmm, is that important information? I don't know, isn't your start time usually very important? Oh, do we see start time here? Yeah, 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 so that, that must be like the, like the first step to our problem. So let's circle. I will show you the first one, and raw fishing, I will actually let you do the second one. So he started at 1.10 p.m. and ended at what time? Oh yeah, that was like 1.42 p.m. Circle it for me. That is important information. Oh, you guys ready for this? This is, this is some good stuff. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> you better not mess up my board, man. Oh my goodness, there you go. And last but not least, how long did he feed his fish for? What do you think we should do to that? It's my question. Hmm. Well, I think we should establish that this is our start time. Okay. So it is 1.10 p.m. 1.10? Yep. I hope you're not feeding your fish at 1 in the morning. And then 1.42 p.m. is our end time. 1.42. Don't let me forget it. P. There you M. go. And I'm going to underline my question because that is what we need to figure out. So how long did he feed his fish? Four. High five. Way to go. Probably like five hours, right? I don't know. Let's figure it out. All right, my friends. Remember, when we are reading a clock, the small hand holds all the power. It tells me the oh. hour. Good job. And then my long hand is my minute hand. What does that tell you? The minute. There you go. <laughs> So, Raw Fishing asked for your help and my help to figure out how long did it take for him to feed his fish. So, my starting time is 1.10. One full hour did not go by because we started at 1.10 and he ended at 1.42. So, one full hour did not go by. So, we are going to use my hills to represent 10 minute or five minute jumps. So, yeah, so you're gonna have a lot of hills to go through. You're gonna have a lot of hills. How many hills do you think we're gonna have? Probably like 50 hills. Well, 50 hills. One hill represents, that would be more than an hour, so. See, that's why I needed help, guys, so you ready? Let's figure it out. So I'm going to start. This is my starting at 1.10. Now I'm going to make one hill jump, and hills represent how many minutes? I don't have my glasses on, so let me look. 10. <laughs> 10. 10. So, raw fishing, can you show me on the clock, if we are at 1.10, and now we have gone 10 minutes later, 10 minutes have gone by, what time is it now? Well, I know that every single one of these 
represents five minutes. So if it's on number two now, that must mean 10, so okay. 110. So if I'm going to go five minutes more. Five minutes. 10 minutes more. Um, we only need to go 10 minutes right now. Okay, so we're gonna stop right there. The 10 minutes right there will be on the four. Which represents one. 20. <laughs> 20. All right, so we're at 120. Are we at 142 yet? Nope, we got to keep going. So I'm going to do another jump of 10. Now what that, are we at? Who would have known that this was a cardio workout while feeding my fish? That's what it feels like. So we are at 120 okay, plus 10 more minutes. So you could do 20 plus Wait, 10. Wait, Miss Sieber, I got I to gotta move it 10 minutes okay. first. All right, now we're 10 minutes in the future. Okay, we're good now. Okay, now can you move it another 10? Because I just made 10. another 10 jump. So we're going to go from 120, 125, 130. Oh, good job. Now, do we need to make another jump of 10? Can oh, we make yes. another jump of 10? One more is left. One more is left. How do you know that? That's very um, smart of you to say. Because it says hmm. 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, because so you know all you did go. was add what to 30? 10. Wow. And you could literally do that on your fingers. Wow. Can we make any more hill jumps? If we make a five, that would be 145. Too far. So now I'm going to cap my hill marker and I'm bringing out the rocks. Okay, we are at 140. Excuse me, Mr. Tall Dude. Can you please back up a little bit? Okay, we are at 140. I got my handy dandy green marker to represent my rocks. So I'm going to do one rock jump representing one minute 140 plus one more minute is 142 Whoop. Oh, 140 oh, 141 my 141 bad. My bad. to get to 142 i need to make one more jump, jump. yeah are we jumping over rocks or are we stepping on uh, uh oh nobody's perfect everybody makes mistakes can you tell me what my mistake was we went from 140 we did one rock jump and landed at 140 two it should be 141 if you caught my mistake because nobody's perfect please kiss your brain so now we did my second jump <laughs> oh you just didn't write it okay, okay. Now, i understand where you're going from now we did my second jump and we are at 142 do you think we're finished are we done yet? If your answer is no, air high five because we are not finished. We still need to figure out the amount of time that passed from start to finish. end. Finish and same thing. So let's see how long it took. So we are going to add up all of the minutes. So now we are going to add up all of the minutes that passed from start to end or finish. So we have 10 plus 10 plus another 10. So we did one, two, three tens, plus one, plus one. And everybody count with me. 10, 20, one, 30, 30, 30, 30, one, 30. Two. How long did raw fishing feed his fish for? 32 minutes. 32 minutes. So I will write that in right here. And I'm going to abbreviate minutes. All right, superstars, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for learning about elapsed time with me, making your brain smarter. And if you want to see any more videos, click all the videos around. Have a great day. Air high five, superstars.